guys, so today we are looking at some direct and inverse proportion. So I'm going to show both of them to you today. So I'm going to first start with direct. So you can see on the left hand side here, this is the formula you use when you um, work out uh, direct proportion. It's different for inverse, but this is direct. So the question is here, y is directly proportional to the square of x. When y is 24, x is 2. Find the value of y when x is 4. So first thing you know, that is is the square of x. So if you write that down, it will do this. That. So we know what the square of x number to get the root. And then you make you if you want to get this answer, you, you always have to know you'd put in k in, so it ma makes it out. Put equal sign, you put k in, and then so when when um, y is 24, so 24 equals k4 because you're squaring the two. And you have to find the value of y when x is 4. So then you have to um, find out what k is first, and then you can use k later on for so it's, it's so you just take four over there so it becomes division so then k equals six You take the 4 over here because these are times, it becomes divide. So you divide 24 by 4, which is 6. So then you know what k is, you just put k in. So then you get you go y equals 6 times 4 squared. So y equals 6 times. 16, so y equals 96. So that's the answer for direct proportion. Now inverse is a bit different. So inverse, then you have um, a different formula you use. Now instead you have k over b instead of timesing. So it's div divided instead. So, the question is, if d varies inversely with w, when d is 3 and y and w is 9, find the value of d when w is 3. So, it's the same thing. d, so we do this, d, so it's 1, 0, 9, I mean w. And then you put the numbers in, so it's 3 equals k over 9. First of all, you want to find what k is, so you have to divide them. Well, no, you take the number over, so you times them. So this, because this is already divided, so you take this over, but it turns times. So then 27 equals k. Then you just put it in the formula. So you want to find d. So d equals 27 over w, which in this case is 3. So d equals 9. Yeah, and there, there you have it. Thanks for watching.